Okay, we're going to review um, imaging planes for a four-foot CT. Now, this is the whole foot and ankle were obtained for this purpose, but in, in this case, it was someone with uh, four-foot pain, and in fact, they have a little bit of fragmentation here. Um, most of the time, this is what we get. These are the axial images that we normally get. You can see that as I scroll through, there's a lot of partial volume averaging as we kind of get through each joint. We only see part of this bone, now we see part of this bone, now we see part of this bone. and We don't kind of see everything all at once. And that's because if you look at the cut planes here, after you get the axials, that the, that the coronals were obtained just uh, perpendicular to the, or parallel to the tabletop, perpendicular to the foot. And the sagittal planes were just uh, orthogonal or perpendicular to the tabletop. Most of the time, I think that we're accustomed to reading these this way and it's not a big deal, but really for four foot CT, let's say there's a problem at the four foot, meaning the tarsal metatarsal joints and distal to it, sometimes we see um, that alignment issues are subtle and difficult to see when the plane is so oblique to the foot. And remember, whenever we're doing musculoskeletal CT or MRI, we're trying to align the, the planes, the prescription planes, to the axes of the, f of the body part of interest and not to the tabletop. So how do you do that? Well, here is an example of a, of a sort of an axial oblique plane that I would consider the long axis of the forefoot. And you can see, you can see most of the metatarsal bones and their tarsal metatarsal alignments kind of on one image, particularly the second through the fifth. And the reason is that I took the, the coronal plane and you look here at this axis and you, you align the prescription plane to the second through fourth metatarsal bones to create images like this. Now the first, uh, the first metatarsal, you can see the arch is such that this kind of curves away and the first tarsal metatarsal joint is less well seen. It's actually better seen probably on the straight um, axial or uh, the axial view, which can see this area very well, um, the first and second tarsal metatarsal joints. And in fact, this mimics, mimics the way we use radiographs. So on a straight AP projection, we can see the first and second tarsal metatarsal joints well, but we really rely on the the oblique radiographs to look at the other tarsal metatarsal joints and the metatarsal bones, and that's why this kind of uh, oblique uh, axial plane or long axis plane is helpful. Now, of course, once you have that, you can do the other planes as well. For instance, this is what a sagittal would look like through there, uh, and compare it to, let's say, this. So this is this is uh, sort of a straight sagittal relative to the table whereas this is more sagittal to the to the tarsal metatarsal joints and you can you can look for alignment problems very well that way uh, and then finally I think I created a, a a new kind of coronal plane that's a little more along the expected axis of the bones of the metatarsal bones to really look for so subtle fractures here much better okay thank you